Hey guys, check this out. I just built this fully working URL shortener as custom MCP server and it's already live and functional. Please, can you shorten this URL? Let's go. Okay, it's calling the MCP. And here we go. So if I click here, I open the link and it goes to a LinkedIn post, so everything works. So in this video, video, I'm going to show you exactly how to vibe code one from scratch. First, we'll set up a new scope in BitCloud. Then we will scaffold a new MCP using a ready-made template provided by the Bit MCP. I'll guide you step by step as we integrate with the short.io API, set up our environment and add full functionality for shortening URLs. You watch the whole thing live, no DevOps, no boilerplate. By the end, you'll have your own plug and play MCP server ready to install in cloud or connect with your own agents. Let's dive in. So first we need to create a new scope in BitCloud. So for that, I click here, create scope, and I name it MCP, and I create the scope. Okay. Now here I need to type bit in star bit in it and here in workspace dot json c I need to add my scope which is here the default scope is cut the eye dot MCP. This is the information from my uh, workspace on BitCloud. And I also need here to have this bitai.mcp slash mcp env. Okay, and now we type bit install. Okay, now it's installed and we need to install our bit MCP. So we type bit MCP server setup and we are in VS code. So we type VS code. Okay, so now he has created here the MCP. I don't know why he's opening also the settings from VS code, but that's not important. So it's here. Uh, and now we need to install the instruction. So it's bit MCP server rules. VS code. If you work in cursor or on um, Windsurf, you add the name of the uh, your editor. But I had some problem uh, with cursor for this, so it works well in VS Code. Uh, I hope it will soon work in cursor too. Okay, so now all that is uh, set up. We need to enable our um, MCP. So I go there, bit, and I start the server. Okay, now it's running. And now we are going to ask it to create our URL shortener. So for that, I'm using an API here. Uh, I'm using short.io. So first I need to create an API here. An API key, I mean, create API key. And okay, I have already mine, uh, but you create it here. Okay, not the public one, you create the normal one. And I also need a domain. So I already done that. Uh, and it's your custom domain dot short dot uh, gi. So for me, I have created uh, a dot short dot gi. Okay, I've already done that, but you need to do that to make it work. And then here we have the API documentation, and we see that to create a new link, we have here this API. So I have copied that, and I also want it to. Um, 
create a QR code. So we have another uh, API command for the QR code. Okay, generate QR code for the link. And I have copied that. And from there, uh, I return to my VS code and I go to, to, the, to the chat. And okay, I need to be in agent mode and I'm going to add the instructions to the context. And here, okay, I have here my instructions. And so I say create an MCP server that will use that will shorten URLs and it will also have a tool that will create the QR code from the URL. This is how it works. The API key and domain will be env variable in the MCP config. And here I have put all the curl uh, that I get from the documentation. And then we need to add the body params, which are original URL and domain. Then to create the QR code, this is how it works. Again, I have pasted here the curl and, uh, and it needs the link ID string, okay? A param from the path. Uh, it comes from the response of the previous request. Okay, let's go for this and let's observe what is happening. Okay. Okay, so it's uh, checking the workspace. Okay. Okay, so it doesn't find anything in the workspace. It's normal uh, because we have just created it. Uh, and now is going to search for existing MCP related components <clears throat> before creating ones. So it means it's checking in the workspace if he find an URL shortener or something similar. Okay, so he find an MCP template available. Uh, and so now we search for related components. So we continue. Okay, since there are no existing um, URL shortener or relevant MCP components, I create a new MCP server component based on the available templates. I'll use MCP STDO template to create our URL shortener MCP server. So, okay, now it's running bit execute. And we see that it has created a folder MCP with uh, documentation, index, and URL shortener server. Okay, and this is where things happen. So we have to let it work. Now we update the documentation. Now, let me quickly guide you through the code. So we have three files, the index.ts, we have the core of our implementation. Here we have the bit configuration and here we have the documentation. So first we uh, do the necessary import directly from the source model context protocol SDK. Then we instantiate our MCP with MCP server, give it a name and a version. Then uh, we define TypeScript interfaces for the short leak response and the QR code response. And here we have all the helper functions to make API calls to short.io. And we have our tools. So these tools have always the same pattern. We have a name, a description, and uh, uh, schema validation inputs. And then from there, it returns the content. And then we start our function. Then here we have the bit uh, configuration and all our documentation on how to uh, use this MCP.
Now it has created everything and we are first going to test it locally before exporting it and testing it in production. So here we have the documentation. And so as feature, we have URL shortening, QR code generation, and we have also a combined operation. We shorten URL and generate a QR code in one step. Okay, so these are the tools available, shorten URL, generate QR code, and shorten URL with QR. Setup and configuration. So we need to configure these environment variables, the API key and the domain. And uh, this is the production integration to have it with Claude. We will see that just after and other MCP clients. And for local development, so to debug here and to test, we need to uh, use this. Okay, so we are going to add this to our config, to our setting JSON here. So in our servers here, I paste this. Okay, so we don't need that anymore. Okay, and now I need to hide here my API key. and my domain. And uh, now I need to act to run my server. So I go to my server, I'm going to stop this one and to activate the URL shortener. So start server and we see that is running. Okay, so everything is running and now we are going to, are going to open a new window. And um, can you generate a short URL for this? A LinkedIn post. Okay, let's go. Okay, the URL short of MCP server is working. Um, okay, the MCP server has several tools available. Okay, and now we have the short URL here. Now we need to tag and export this to be able to use it in cloud or in other places. Uh, so I'm going to ask Copilot to do it. Can you please tag and export this uh, URL shortener component? Okay. Okay, so everything is done now, it's exported. Now I need to export my component to be able to use it in cloud on other places. So I type bit tag build and bit export. And now our URL shortener is on bit and so we have all the documentation to install it. Okay, and all the features, the tools, and here set up in configuration. So we need to copy that and, add, and to add our API key and short uh, domain here. So from there, I'm going to Cloud. And in Cloud, I go to Settings and to Developer and Edit Config. I open it and this is where I need to add my config. <laughs> so here I already had my, um, my API key and my domain. Okay, so I save this and now I need to restart Claude to see this take effect. So I restart Claude. Okay, and now if I go to config again, to settings and developer, I can see that my URL shortener is here. So now I'm going to ask it, can you shorter this URL, please? Okay, and 
Okay, I'm going to give it a link to a LinkedIn post and let's go. Let's go. Okay, so I shorten this URL. Thinking. And here we are. And I click here, open link. And this is my LinkedIn post. So everything works. All right, so now you've seen how simple it is to vibe code your own MCP server from setup to deployment and plug it straight into your agent workflows. And if you're building with AI or thinking about integrating it into your business, I offer a free strategy call where we can map out your best next steps, tools and stack. So link is below if you want to book that. And if you're serious about building full stack AI apps, check out my AI Alchemist community because this is exactly what we are doing there. And if you find this video helpful, please drop a comment, hit like and subscribe so you don't miss what's coming next. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.